Uh, the book of Job, verse 2. Dominion and awe belong to God. He establishes order in the heights of heaven. All right. Hi, everybody. This is Christian Righteous Gamer. I hope you're all having a good day today. Okay, so let's let, let's try to focus a little bit more on some more positive stuff again. I know my channel's been... Uh, it has a level of chaos to it. To be honest, my, my life existence has a level of chaos to it, so it's just kind of the way it is. Let's, uh... Let's try to find some little bit more, some more, uh... Kind of, like, get the channel going back to more of its normal, regular state a little bit more, rather than, uh... Rather than what it's been going through lately. Um... I guess, I guess I'll try... I'll, let's just talk about some, uh... I'll try to put some of a Christian perspective on some of this stuff. But, uh... Let's... Let's, um, let's talk about some more fun stuff and some more normal stuff again. So, here, here's uh, some, uh, some pictures from the game, uh, there's a video game called Elix. Sure, well, I, I was kind of, I was like a little bit of like, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> like, like in the mood to want to play like, you know, or talk about Elix, right? Uh, if I'm being real with myself, I really like Elix. Especially the first game. The second game is pretty cool too. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite video games. When it, when it, for for its for its thing, right? For the uh, uh, you know, for the genre or whatever, right? Um. So let, let's let's talk let's talk let's just talk about this game a little bit. Maybe I'll show uh, like a little bit of the trailer or something here. Let's just let's look, let's, let's take a look at some of the footage from it. Okay, so fair fair use is the thing. Okay, so, I mean, I know this game is not the most popular of games, I know that, I mean, honestly, I don't even think this, this, uh, this video is going to probably get that many views, but I'll just talk about something I like. I, I like this game, so at some point I might have to make a walkthrough of it, but, uh, and, and, and there's two of them too, right? It makes it, you make it twice as much fun. Um, so that, that trailer, that trailer, that music, that music on the trailer, just, this, this uh, if if you don't hear any sound from that trailer, well, it probably I probably had it muted. But if I didn't have to mute it, well, it, it's not a bad song. Uh, so yeah, let's just talk about some stuff I like about this game. And I and I know that I know that it came out years ago, but I you know, it came out so long ago, but I still like it. You know, right? I mean, you know, think about it. Well, think about that, right? Uh, <coughs> um. So yeah, I'll, I'll try to throw some kind of a Christian perspective on this. Um, 
So, so some of the stuff that I like about the game is that I, I like the ability that you have lots of free will and lots of freedom in the game. It's kind of like, it's like a very deep open, it's an open world sandbox where you get to make lots of moral choices and lots of characters and lots of stories. And, and there is also a main story too. And the choices you make in the game can affect your main story on some levels. Because I, I like the whole, like the whole, uh, the whole Bethesda sort of attitude where you can just kind of, you go where you want and you do what you want and you make, you make your own world, right? Even a lot of like these whole CRPG games, um, they're kind of like, you know, a big sandbox game, right? And I, I like, I like playing this and like, I like, I like enjoying a sandbox, right? Um... You know, I, I enjoy playing in a little sandbox world where I can just kind of do what I want. They give me a whole bunch of stuff, and I just do what I want with it. And, you know, that that's what it is. If the combat's pretty fun. Uh, I'll be real with somebody. The combat in this game is... This, this game is extraordinarily difficult, especially early on. Um, I probably, to be honest, would recommend a person just to play this game on the easiest difficulty. Because that's like a normal difficulty. This game is, like, you know, like ball-breaking hard. It is very difficult, especially early on, right? Now, I mean, once you get to the later stages of the game, it's not that bad, I guess. But it is, like, borderline excruciatingly difficult for the first, like, 35% of the game. And then it kind of it gets easier, too, right? If you're playing on the easier difficulty, it, it, can feel simpl- it can feel very simplistic after a while. But... And then there is a level of a grind to the game. So you either have... So at a certain point in the game, you either have to just kind of push through. The, you have to push through the main story, or push through the push through the content, or you're gonna you, you can grind. But the grinding it kind of feels. So there's like different checkpoints of of the value to the game, where depending on your current like level and your abilities, like getting a new weapon, that's like that can be dramatically. It can be like a, a full like advancement up in your capabilities. And it definitely makes... This game makes you feel powerful. Once you become more powerful, right? You feel like a... I mean, I don't want to blast me, right? Using the word like like a god, that's... We're not deities. Only god is god. But like like being like a legend, right? Like you become like a... You have like this, you have this heroic powers and abilities. Once you reach a certain capacity... Like the game has like multiple checkpoints. <coughs> so it's like... You, you have like There's like kind of like a level one... And there's like a level two, and there's like a level three. Level one where you fight against like, you, you, maybe they have like a, they have like you know, but the game has like three different tiers worth of capabilities. So like there's like kind of like, and then you have like kind of like you have like a recruit, you have like a recruit tier where you start out with basically nothing, and you just kind of you just try to endure and survive, and then you reach like the rank one, where you become like a you become like a basic level enemy. You can you can play the game pretty much then, and the vast majority of the game is opened up to you. And then you can um, and then then you slowly slowly have to kind of grind and get kind of learn how to get good, kind of get your feet you know get your get your uh, abilities to really play the game, and then and then eventually you reach rank two, where presuming you're you know you reach a power you reach a power capacity level where all of the lower level enemies in the game are pretty simplistic for you to fight and they no longer are a threat. They're not they're not a threat anymore. At that point you just you just grind them for their their resources. And you go into a world and you just sort of like you just you just farm you farm them at a certain point. Then once you reach rank you know you're you're in, you're in rank two, right? You you slowly become more more powerful. And you can take on certain medium level enemies and fights. And uh and then eventually you can kind of reach rank three where Pretty much, you can. You pretty much can do like almost anything in the game. You, you still need to get a really powerful weapon, and but you can fight pretty much all the medium level enemies in the game. I mean, I guess you could say like like, there are like three different ranks. Like I guess like uh, like you know, there, there's also like a very very strong types of enemies. Eventually, I think when you reach rank three, you will be capable of defeating. You still might need to like kind of like like power up a little bit. In order to, in order to defeat like the really, 
like the really high level enemies, you might still have to, uh, you might have to do a little bit of some jank, right? This game, this game is all like the word jank, right? You could just use the word jank and the word elix could be like, you know, like a, a synonym, right? Um, this game is super jank, but yeah, like once you reach rank three, it's kind of like you're like, you're at the, you're at the high level tier in the game. And at that point, you kind of have to grind to get, like, to get, like, really, really powerful beyond that point. But once you reach rank, rank 3, you're going to have, like, you're going to pretty much have everything available to you at that point. And depending on how smart you are with your, your experience and your, your loot or whatever, and then um, with your grinding or farming of the game, you probably, at that point, with, with a little bit of some cheesing in the game, you pretty much can just be, you can pretty much kill anything. And... And you feel like you feel really powerful, right? I mean, and I know I generally play the game on like the easy difficulty because this game, this game is like you know, ball busting hard. Like, it is really, really hard. Um, but I mean, I'm not against that either, right? But it, it is difficult. It is not. It does not hold your hand. It is not easy. And it is. It does not try to be. It doesn't try to be nice. But and there's a whole bunch of like again, like they got they kind of got different zone maps and they got different quests. Eventually, again, like, the main story, a lot of the enemies, to tell you the truth, the game, most of the normal, most of the main story, it's kind of like, it's like when you play Fallout 4, right? Eventually, if you're playing on normal difficulty or something, and you're fighting the enemies and stuff, the, the game is not really, like, overly difficult for the most part, because, like, they give you allies to help you in most of the main story missions. It's kind of like, you know, you play Kingdom Come, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance against a game I really like. Uh, I, I, I beat that game. I think I beat the game two separate times. Maybe I might even beat the game three times, to be honest. I can't remember. I, I have a walkthrough on my channel, but... Um, in, the, the game, in, in Kingdom Come Deliverance, or was it called KCD, you... During the main story missions, they always give you help. So it's like, you know, you're never... And the enemies aren't, like, back-breakingly difficult, necessarily. Like the enemies aren't that hard necessarily. Like they're kind of like, they're like maybe like most of the enemies in in this game, until you get to late game or like maybe the lower medium tier. So they're not like they're not that hard to be honest. So like the game isn't like the game is the game is hard, but if you if you kind of like grind to get good, and you you're 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 a reasonably competent individual playing the game, and you've been you've been using your resources properly, like a good steward of your resources. The game really isn't that hard, I guess. Um, cause, it, cause like you fight, you, the vast, and most of your enemies are just like, they're basically humans that have like medium tier equipment and medium tier power and capabilities. And if you bring in again, like you, you have a companion, you play smart, they might give you a bunch of allies on your team that you fight a bunch of other allies. The game, the game isn't that difficult really. I mean, some of the, some of the stuff is not exactly easy. But to tell you the truth, it's not it's not that hard either, right? And it's it's kind of like most AAA games, where, yeah, I mean, they, they give you so much help in the game that if you're willing to be a little bit humble, you can get from checkpoint to checkpoint. Again, again, it's just uh, it's just like massive. It, it, it feels at times like an MMO. It has so much content to it. And I I love that, right? I, I love a good grind, a grind that's fun, a grind that's miserable is like hellish but a grind that's fun i love a, i love a good grind um but yeah like and, and there's like you know there's story to it and there's so many different characters you interact with it's like it's like a massive it feels to be honest like a massive side quest style style of game like almost there's so much stuff you can do in the game and it, it, it the main story is not really like even the primary focus that there is a story to the game it's I would say the the main story of Elix is kind of mid. It's not the best. It makes it kind of makes sense, and it kind it kind of it's kind of like mid. But the game itself, like the gameplay, the gameplay is really good. And this is one of those aspects where I think a lot of companies, they're so bent on this world. They're worried about like a, like what's the guy that the famous YouTuber uh, or Twitch streamer like Asmongold constantly says right, talks about how he loves um. You know, it's got to have, like, good gameplay, right? You know, I was like, gameplay is king. You know, obviously, like, the Lord Jesus Christ is the king. But the idea of, uh, like, you know, 
Like, you know, gameplay equals king. And, or co- a good combat is king. Or, like, you know, you play the game. And this game is a really strong gameplay-focused game. And I, I love that about it. And, you know, I, I, there's, there's so many things I love about this game. Now, obviously, there's a handful of things that are extremely controversial at times, too. But, like, it has, like, it has magic in it, right? And as a Christian, we should not be messing around with magic. Um, you know, that, that stuff is dangerous. Um, and it's also very morally gray. But that, that moral, the moral, I honestly don't even think moral grayness is necessarily inherently evil. But it, it is nice to have, like, you know, a level of clarity. Like, some black and white morality is not bad either. Some things I think should be right, and some things are wrong. But, you know, the, the idea of moral grayness in, like, a AAA video game, it allows for great quests and stories and characters to be developed. Like, if, if nothing is really absolute, then you can just kind of do what you want. It allows for lots of opportunities for great storytelling and characters. And, there's again, they have, like, three different factions... And there's like uh, it's it's set it's set in a science fiction world. The, the, the name of the world's called uh, um, I can't even pronounce it. Uh, uh, Magalon, and it's it's not set on Earth. So that's that's the one thing you, uh, something you gotta be careful of, right? But it to tell someone the truth, I mean, it, it more or less it honestly it probably is Earth. It it looks, talks, and acts dramatically like Earth. Um. You know, like, and, and it's 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 a like a science fiction world. It's, I would say it's a very neutral world. It's very science fiction based. Um, it has some fantasy aspects to it, but it's mostly just like a humanism sort of game, where there's lots lots there's lots of humans in it, and humans interacting with other humans. Uh, like it has some dinosaurs. It has some like it has a couple of like it has a couple of trolls you can fight. It it, it has and it also has like it has a uh, it has technology. It has like you know more medieval themes in it, and it also has uh, it has some like they call them like the outlaws, or these like range weapons, kind of like a kind of like a more modern day times, and it has lots of moral themes to it. There's a lot of good stuff that I think as a, as a Christian, you could learn from the series Elix, and but I mean you know there's, there's also kind of fill it fills your mind with a whole bunch of nonsense too, because to tell you the truth, that's pretty much what science fiction is. It's just it's kind of just a bunch of nonsense. It's kind of like, you know, like, what if? Like, you know, what if the year 2300 came and we got we got off Earth and we went to a different planet and a bunch of things happened? It's like, it's not actually true, but it's kind of like, you know, like, what if, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a very fun game. And I, mean, I definitely would recommend it, but, you know, you, you got to be careful with some of the stuff. And, and also, it's not like... Christianity is not really in the game, but it's also not like not in the game either. And there what there is some scenes in the world, like they do have a rep- they do have like a couple of aspects to the game. Like I know when I was playing through it, I played I was playing through it just do some background footage just because I wanted to explore, experience the game again. Um, like they did have some message of some like, uh, yeah, they had they had a picture I saw I, I was I was exploring the world. And they had, like, three different crosses. And I was like, you know, it showed three different crosses, just like the gospel. And, it, it, you know, like, it was, like, literal one-for-one, one, like, direct Christianity message in it. And they do talk about, quote-unquote, gods, but they don't really have any mention. I don't really, it's not really in the game. It's like, you know, in The Witcher 3, they talk about the, quote-unquote, gods. But they're like, I mean, I don't, when, when, I've never seen one. i never heard anything really about them. They just kind of reference that there could be some deities out there. That's about all there really is with that. But, I mean, it, it's, it's a very, very realistic game in a science fiction world. It's very, very neutral. Like, it's, it's a very, like, you no, know, it's human beings. And just people interacting with people. And, I mean, I, I appreciate a story when, a, a game series, when it's very neutral. It doesn't try to push a direct, like, it doesn't try to, like, push down a direct message. But it's, um... You know, but it's 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 open it's open minded and it's open world, but it's not so open that it's like you have an infinite number of options. But I mean, there there is a lot of different variety, and you got a lot of different choices you can make. And the morality system of Elix is that it's uh uses a cold system versus like a like a heat system, and you're like you know, like you're warm or you're cold morality wise. 
which is again I, I really I do appreciate a level of innovation because there's not a lot of series out there like that right you know it's like most of the time they want they want to tell you like this action is the is the good action right or this action is the evil action but in this game your actions make you either it's more like it's, it's like a passion system it's like you know you uh someone makes you angry so you just explode with rage at them that makes you more emotionally warm because like you know you you, you get angry you, you give in to your passion it makes you very makes you very uh like deep levels of you have a deep level of uh you know, you have like of anger you have like those like very hot emotions or you can just be like you know somebody says something that offends you you just like i don't care you know, <laughs> you're like, you know, I, I just, I'm just refused to answer, and I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for it. And they, they question you, you're like, nope, don't care, and then they'll make you really cold. It's like, it's like this lack of, you become deeply apathetic. You either have to, you either have, um, and you can be more neutral in this area too. But that's like a, the game's main morality system. I mean, obviously there is a literal morality too. Like there is good, good there is good and evil, right? They might, they might not always tell you what the good thing to do is, but, like, I mean, morality, morality is, I mean, like, in holiness, I believe God, God's, God's morality supersedes time and space. Like, moral good is still moral good, no matter where you are, no matter what the circumstances are. Like good is still going to be good. And evil is still going to be evil. Those are not going to change. But the game focuses on, um, yeah, like, the idea of, uh, like, the idea of uh, how passionate or how, um, how, how apathetic are you going to be? And I do appreciate like, it's a, it's a cool system. Um, I mean, I know the I know the first game. I think it came out in like 2017, and the second game came out I think in like 2013 or something, or maybe 2012 or not 20 2020 2022 I think. The first one came out in like I think 2017. But I mean, I do like I do like both these games. I might I might on my channel at some point go through them. Um, I mean, but then again, like you know, I have so many projects I work on. I mean, what, am I ever really going to get around to it? But um, yeah, I do I do I do really like this game. I know that it's old, and I know a lot. I know it's not very popular, but I, still, I mean, it doesn't mean that just because it's not something that everybody likes doesn't mean you can't like something, right? I mean, and all the, all, all the garbage they put out these days, I mean, honestly, at a certain point, you might as well just enjoy games you actually like that are more classic and traditional. Um, it's like, you know, a time-tested and true generally has a lot of value to it. A lot of evergreen stuff is... You know, if something is evergreen, it's going to be good basically forever. And, you know, stuff that's more relevant eventually just kind of just fades away. I mean, maybe if it's really like evergreen, could get like a little bit of a... You know, it could have like you know, if someone made a video and it was from like year like 2012. Yeah, it could get like a little bit of an HD upgrade or something, but it's still going to be a good video probably for for decades on end. And you know, talking about the latest, uh, I don't know, like the latest Taylor Swift drama, that's just going to die out in like like two weeks, right? And <laughs> I mean, there is value to um, evergreen versus like more relevant. I think there is there is value to relevancy too, but you know, re relevancy has a is a time uh, has like a it's like a timer to it, right? And evergreen is you know, good forever. You, you get like you, know, you get strawberries, right? You get the evergreen strawberry; they come back every year. You get a, like a bountiful uh, bountiful harvest every single year, and you get the what we call like the the Juneberry strawberries. You know, they're good for like good for like oh well, they're good for like the month of june and they just they're done and then that's it and maybe maybe you get them for one year and you're gonna get some new ones but they're just done and the ever bearing ones they'll be good pretty much for like oh, four months of the year and every year they'll come back for like 10 20 years or i don't i mean i'm not an expert gardener or something right but uh <laughs> but yeah but like i mean I, I do th I do like playing older games, and especially if they're like a great older game too, right? And like Elix Two is a continuation from the story, and they they definitely made they, it was like as a massive upgrade. And I do I, I like the first one. I also like the second one. So again, like you no, know, if you're a Christian, you know, consider trying out some science fiction, and you know, science fiction can be great.
And, yeah, I mean, I was just talking about an older game that I like. I, I do like that on my channel. I mean, my channel doesn't have to be, like, extremely negative and controversial. Every single thing is just... And, and, and all, all of the internet is just extremely toxic. It feels like all the time. And... I mean, I do appreciate making some more positive videos, or even if it's just like even just like a more of like a neutral video, right? Like I don't have to, everything doesn't have to be just rage-induced psychotic mental breakdown twenty-four hours a day. I mean, we're only going to be alive for so long, but we don't have to be so angry all the time and so negative and so bitter and so cynical. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being angry or negative, but like in holiness, I don't believe God created human beings to be extremely angry and negative all the time. It's just it's just not healthy. I mean, there's nothing, and, and, and also, like, I'm, I don't have to be, like, a, like, a clout chaser, right, either. I feel like, you know, you want, you want clout, but that's just, it doesn't really make you happy. It just, it hooks you on a leash. It basically makes you, like, it makes you, like, a slave. It makes you a slave to some algorithm. I mean, I get that if that's your source of money, I understand, but I feel like it makes you a slave. And I don't really want to live my life as a slave. I'd rather be free. And I do, I mean, I can understand the value, right, of wanting to, I mean, like, even for my channel, like, I just, that's kind of why I stopped, I stopped, I stopped basically begging people, I, I said that I was just going to stop begging people for, like, you know, like, likes or, or subscribes and comments and all that stuff, I mean, if people want to do it, they can do it, if they don't want to do it, then they don't have to do it, and, yeah, like, I, I kind of wanted my channel to be a little more neutral, and I wanted to have focus a little bit more on the ministry aspect of it. And, I mean, but, it, but we can still have fun, too. It doesn't have to be, like, a miserable experience. So, yeah. You know, you know the game Elix, right? You got Elix 1 and you got Elix 2. Yeah, I mean, if you got the money and then maybe it's like the game's on sale or something, I, I consider, maybe just consider, you know, picking it up. Or trying it out, right? Or watch some videos on it. I mean, it's definitely a great game you can relax with. You can grind. You can grind the game for hours and you know it has an interesting main story frankly the game is a game excels at side stuff more than it does the main story it's just it's just a fun game it's, it's kind of a very morally gray game but it's a fun game and i mean you can't you can't overlook playing a fun game or having fun in your life either not everything everything doesn't have to be hyper political all the time or extremely negative all the time it, you can you can have fun you can have some fun too all right, uh, all right, thanks, God is good.